subscribe button for me, smash that like button for me, especially if you liked today's story time. Of course, more stories to come. Hi, Mayday family, how are you guys doing today? So today is such a nice day, it's such a nice day outside. So I decided to do a story time for you guys. I mean, I really enjoy story times. I spend a lot of time on YouTube watching videos and a good amount of what I watch is people telling stories and story time. So <laughs> I'm really glad to actually be able to do this with you, with you guys. Now the story that I'm going to tell you guys is about a 20 year old kid that I happened to meet, to meet when I was at the gym. So I work out in the gym at my apartment complex and I was there um, in kind of like the chill area so the way that it is is they have a gym and they also have an area where you can kind of relax it's almost like a it's almost like a just kind of like a relaxation place like a like a room with a TV and some chairs in it right like a room a TV and some chairs and a table in it where you can just kind of like sit down and relax and they have like two computers in there so I was in there and I was on the phone and this 20 year old walks in and I was on the phone with my older brother and I talk loud you guys and I was like it's just his luck that he walked in and I'm on the phone because I <laughs> I don't hold back okay like I mean I'm not like yelling or anything but I'm a pretty loud talker and you know I, fe I felt like I got there first so whatever <laughs> you know but I have rights to the room or whatever but anyway um, so I got done talking on the phone with my brother and I hung up and then he says hey I really like the way you think and I guess he's he was refer what he was referring to was the phone conversation because obviously he was able to hear the phone conversation and I was actually having an argument with my brother at the time and so I was making my points you know because I was arguing with him with my older brother um, and so he says hey I really like your thought process and I said oh thank you and of course at this point I didn't know he was 20 years old and um, so I said, oh, thank you. What is it about the thought process that you liked? And so I start conversating with him. A couple of minutes into the conversation, it came up. And because I was already wondering, he already looked kind of young anyway. I mean, he walked in there with his laptop looking super young. And, um, you know, I'm a bit older. And so um, somehow the conversation came up and I said, oh, how old are you? And he said 20. And I said, okay, very cool, very cool. And uh, I guess he felt comfortable enough to tell me some things about his life and what he was going through with his parents and like, you know, he's been in a, some altercations with the law and with being in and out of, um, you know, jail and all that good stuff. So he shared all those experiences with me, which was nice. So that was like on the first day. Um, that was on the first day and he actually has um i didn't find this out till i mean i knew within like five minutes of talking to him that he had adhd that he has adhd um but i didn't say of course i didn't bring it up or anything like that so anyway i mentioned to him that i do youtube and that we could actually partner up and do a video together if he'd like that he kept talking about like his view on spirituality and i'm not gonna lie you guys i didn't understand a word of what he was saying it didn't make any sense to me because he had adhd and so like his thoughts were extremely disorganized it was a very severe case of adhd so the thoughts come out extremely disorganized now to the person that has adhd it's, it's not like that for them they just view it as normal speech but for the person that's trying to keep like understand what the conversation is about it's very disorganized it really doesn't have a point or a start or an end to it and um, the message just a lot of times doesn't get communicated very clearly so it makes it very hard to communicate with one another uh, so I didn't really understand what his thoughts were on spirituality but I do know that he had quite a bit of a different 
stance on it and so his stance was something along the lines of we all have like something like in us including the plants and everything else and that he's nothing right he, he he's so he's nothing even though he you know has a like he's trying to get a job and stuff so i didn't really understand that either i guess it was probably at this point where things started getting really weird because it was he kept talking about his spirituality and he kept trying to get me to be like a part of it or to like look into whatever it is that he believed in and so it's almost like you know you do you guys know like it's almost like encountering one of those like christians and i'm christian but encountering one of those christians that like tries to beat you outside the head with a bible even if that's not what you believe in you know so he kept like telling me stuff about his spirituality and how i should look into it and how like this guy that's his mentor is so like awesome and that's his mentor and that's who he follows and honestly guys to me even though i barely understood what he was trying to say or his thought process because he did have adhd in a severe form of it um it sounded to me like he's he's a part of a cult so i think that there's a good chance that he was a part of a cult and he kept trying to get me to join this cult and it was insane guys it was insane he kept telling me things like oh it's it's so awesome you should join you should try it you should look him up uh he says all these things about like our spirits and how the trees have spirits and the plants have like spirits and they all move around and we are like none of us are actually alive and we are all actually not real and <laughs> a, a lot of very strange thoughts at least strange to me and he kept trying to get me to join this organization and this was throughout like from the moment I met him to when it all fell apart at the end because he went psychopath on me. I mean he was talking about all these things and so I honestly like he I honestly think he was trying to get me to join a cult and he was a part of a and he's a, a part of a cult and I don't know that he knows that it's a cult but he was trying to get me to join and he was like i meditate and that helps me with my adhd and i'm incredibly like my and he kept, and he was telling me this and keep in mind guys i haven't asked the quite like questions to like to say like to encourage these answers or anything like that this is just him volunteering this information to me and he was like my iq is above average and it's genius level so i know everything and i can feel everything and i'm i'm a lot of different perspectives i'm not me i don't have a self it's very strange very very strange individual very confused individual and he, and worst of all i felt like he kept trying to get me to join a cult but i didn't say anything <laughs> I wanted to put him on YouTube for you guys. I tried, guys, I tried to get him on this channel, but he's just so strange. I at the tw like at towards the end of when everything fell apart, like I literally felt like my life was in danger. Um and I'm really glad he doesn't know where I live because I really was like this guy's crazy, like there's legit something wrong with him. So yeah so he kept trying to get me to join his cult or whatever and he was like i meditate so here's a link to um the meditation thing and it was just all very strange very very strange so he was a part of a cult so that was the first red flag so um and on that same day um i didn't get to work out in the morning so i was working out a little bit later at night and because he got kicked out of his home with living with his parents and now 
sleeps like in his car he spends a lot of time in that area that I told you about that kind of like chill area in the apartment that chill area in the apartment he spends a lot of time there and probably sleeps there sometimes and so I went in that area is right next to the gym so I went in to the gym to work out and I told him like I'm working out so I'll be at the gym so he came in to join me of course he had no workout clothes or anything like that he just kind of had like jeans and this these really old nasty looking shoes that I mean he that's just all he had and like whenever he came to the like whenever he came to the gym so that I mean so he didn't really come prepared to work out I was on the treadmill and I was kind of like getting my run in I had already gotten a couple like a couple of miles in so I was almost done so he gets guys this is so strange I don't know what the deal was with this but here's another red flag for you <laughs> the kids in the background playing he gets on the treadmill next to me and then you know how you can like increase well because it's a treadmill you can increase the running pace of the treadmill the average for me guys the average I run at like a five point something like a 5.5 .5 at most 5.0 at most and then I jog I'm just giving this to you as a point of comparison at like a 4.5 4.6 I'm that's jogging and then a 5.5 is like pretty much running so I guess he was trying to like do something like impressive or something so he get, gets on the treadmill doesn't stretch or anything like that and increases increases the pace to a 15.0 15.0 guys I think the maximum is like 16 or something like that a 15.0 and then starts running looking like a lunatic looking like a crazy person on this treadmill and this is a kid that's out of shape he he's not in shape you can tell he never works out he never goes to the gym he has a little bit of a stomach a pudge and he's struggling like I thought he was I legit thought he was gonna hurt himself like he was gonna fall off the treadmill because it was way too fast way too fast at a 15.0 and like he just looked crazy on this treadmill totally out of shape and like he had like two chains on so he was going at like a 15.0 and tried to like lower it but couldn't because it was going so fast so he takes off like his chains he's both his chains and like throws it on the floor and he's like going and going and um, he's not able to lower it because it's going so fast and I was so scared I thought he was gonna hurt himself I thought I was gonna end up having to call the ambulance and it was the strangest thing the strangest behavior I was like this kid is weird as fuck like legit excuse my French but I was like this is a weird kid and so um, anyway he grabs on to both the handles because the the um, treadmills have handles and like lifts himself up like after like 30 seconds because he was going too fast so he was trying to like show off but didn't even last like 30 seconds because he was going too fast because he was going too fast and and then like stops <laughs> breathing super hard looking crazy looking mad stupid like it was just crazy guys so that was like yet another sign of the fact that this was not someone that um, that uh, that I needed to be associated with <laughs> But anyway, fast forward to, um, I decided to put him on my video because I, I, I figured that would be something different for my channel just because I didn't understand it and I was gonna ask you guys. <laughs> I was gonna ask you guys what your thoughts were and I was gonna put that on, on tape to see if anybody else knew what this guy was talking about, but um, I didn't and um, so we were supposed to collab on a vid video but uh one morning uh i texted him and i said hey okay so we're gonna shoot on friday so just be prepared and the topic is gonna be adhd because you have it and i would want you to talk a little bit about that and talk to my subscribers about that a little bit because you you never know and I feel like we could put some some really great tips in there and things like that 
and um, I mean guys when I say this guy was severe ADHD it was severe ADHD like it was bad like I couldn't understand any of it like he was talking and I was like what is he talking about like in my head I didn't say it but disorganized thought right like I could kind of get here and there kind of like an idea of what like piecing things together but that was it so um, I texted him and I said oh yeah like on Friday that's when we're gonna tape so please be ready please be prepared and um, he was like okay and I said I'm gonna want this to be in the video as well and then this is where things kind of got interesting and I said this is what I want to be in the video and he texted me back and he said no we're just gonna leave that out I don't want that to be in the video and I was like what <laughs> what I was like okay well it's my video and it's my channel and this isn't something that is like crazy this is so here's what I, what I wanted to be in the video was he showed me this thing where he like climbs the wall so there's a wall here and there's a wall here and he puts his hand up both and like climbs it and I thought that would be interesting to further emphasize the ADHD part of him because it was I mean a lot of times people with ADHD have to do something and keep doing like active things and things with their hands and they tend to do things like that so and also I just thought it would be interesting to add that in the video so it wasn't really a big deal like it was just like and um so I said, well, I would want that to be in the video, and I don't really think that that's your decision. That's my decision on whether or not I would want to include that on the video. But you have the decision to, the choice to choose whether or not you want to be a part of the video. If that's something that I want to add to the video and you don't, you do have the choice to choose that you don't want to be included in the video but you don't have <laughs> like I mean there's I mean if I want it included in the video then that's kind of what just what I want because I think it would just be interesting to show my subscribers and, and people and um, so I, I did tell him that I, I said you have it I mean you don't have to be a part of it like that that part is your choice you know and anyway it's just the weight guys like here's the thing it's not that he said it's not because he said hey I really don't want to do that or include that because of this and that and that it was the tone of the text message and like the way he said it as though I was like it I was asking a question I mean it was it was like he sent the message and he was like no we're not doing that I don't think it's a good idea period and it was just like it that was it and so I was kind of offended by that and I was like listen you don't even have to be you don't even have to do this because I can't force you to do this so you know um, so anyway he finally decided that he would still be in the video and that same morning once we had kind of cleared that up and he was like I still I'll still do the video but I'll let you win I think he was a little bit of a narcissist I mean this guy was so annoying Guys, this guy was annoying and not because he had ADHD but because he had several other problems as well like he kept he always kept trying to like prove himself he was like I'm old I have all these experiences but yet it's like you don't really have any experiences I've you know you've I've taught to you enough to be able to see that like you don't have a lot of experiences I'm older than you so obviously I've seen more and so anyway once we ironed that out and he was like fine I'll let you win I don't lose I don't ever lose this is what he said in a text message I don't ever lose I either win or I let you win and I was like whatever I texted him back and I said whatever I guess in this case you're just gonna have to let me win because there's no other options for you apart from not being a part of the video <laughs> like what are you talking about like this guy sounded insane like he sounded crazy so um, anyway so he finally decided to do it and I was like okay cool 
and then he sends me a text message and goes, I know you like me, question mark. Guys, this is where things got weird. Weird. Guys, got, things got so real for me that like, I can't even describe how real things got. So, so that was it, right? So that was the thing. And so he texted me and he said, oh, you know, I, you know that you like me. And I said, what? Yeah, so he texted me and said, you know that you like me. And I said, what? Um, I, I texted him back and I said, no, I don't. I see you as a little brother. You're like a baby. And that's where things got real. That's where things got crazy. Like he lost his mind. Like he started insulting me. He was like, you're so, just because I rejected him and I said, no, I don't like you like that. Because I don't, I don't like him like that. He doesn't even know if I have a boyfriend. Like the, the struggle was real. And I, you know, I told him, I said, I'm a little bit older than you. I have a lot more experience and I see you as being really young and being a baby. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Some girls are into that. I'm not. I'm a counselor. It's my job to build meaningful relationships, but I care about you in a different way. You're like a younger brother to me, and you're like a baby to me, and I don't feel that way about you. And it's okay if you're upset because you got rejected, but to start insulting people and not be able to take like it's like how can you claim to be grown and you can't even handle being rejected by a woman <laughs> like so he started insulting me guys oh my god like he started he went in like started insulting the crap out of me like you're disgusting you're this like um but yeah, and so he, he goes psycho and he starts saying things like, you're disgusting, I thought you liked me, but obviously you're not smart. I'm smarter than you. I'm the smartest guy on this planet and no one can compare to me. And um, he was saying things like that and he was just saying things like, um, what else was he saying? And he was saying things like, I just really like think that you are an extremely hot counselor. So, you know, I just thought that you liked me, but you're such a disgusting person and you are not smart and I'm smarter than you. My IQ is genius level. Guys, this guy was a legit sociopath slash psychopath, and I don't say that lightly being a counselor, and he lost it. Text message after text message. As a matter of fact, I might include one of those text messages in this video just so you guys can get a snapshot of what I'm talking about. So it was so bad that obviously I had to uh, block him. <laughs> But yes, those are some of the things he was saying. It was very strange and he was a part of a cult and he obviously wasn't on medication to help mitigate his his severe form of ADHD, which didn't really help, you know, so. I thought you liked me and I was like, I, d I don't like you in that way. I'm sorry you're upset about that, but I just don't. So it was the craziest experience because I didn't see it coming. Like, I mean, I thought that he would just kind of be like, oh, okay, I see. Thanks for telling me, you know, but he wasn't. And I was like, I'm doing it <laughs> like, that's just not how I feel ab about about you. I, I'm, I don't know like why you thought that I liked you, but it's all good if you did, but here's the real deal. And he's like, subconsciously you like me. That's what he said. And I said, there's no subconsciously going on here. If I liked you, you'd know, and I don't. So it got really creepy really fast really weird i mean he started throwing out insults like guys insults to the my core being insults to me as a human being and he called me disgusting he said that um i didn't know anything and like he was he's grown and experienced more than me and i'm like you've been to jail two or three times like I'm not understanding what it is that you're boasting about. You don't have anything 
that I want or that I would want to even learn. I mean, you're mad because you got rejected. You have so much growing up to do. Like, I don't even have advice for you. I'm a counselor, but I, I also have a limit. Like, that's insane. Like, this guy was crazy. Like, this kid, and we try not to use the word crazy, but I'm saying, like, this guy was insane. This was a crazy kid. Like, a kid that really needs a lot of help. But he started texting all those things to me, and finally I was just like... And then a couple of minutes later, once I stopped responding, he texted me again and then was like... Oh, I apologize. I'm sorry. And I'm like, this guy's a lunatic. <laughs> uh, he, he told me that he, I mean, he's sleeping in his car and he's literally homeless because he got kicked out. He, he can't get along with his parents. And he, oh, he just thinks he knows everything. And he's like, oh, I have um, someone that I look up to. And it's not even like he's like oh, a mentor. I already have a mentor. So, like, and his mentor is some guy he's never even met. It's like some guy on the internet. I'm like that's your mentor good luck you know like you can't even find a real person to be your mentor despite how much you obviously need that and he got kicked out so he's sleeping in his car and I felt really bad for him I really wanted to help and be like a point of support for him but I couldn't do it anymore I couldn't put my life in danger like that because it became a really dangerous situation for me and he I mean he just became a, a, a very dangerous individual so I had to like block his number and stuff once that conversation was over. The Thankfully, obviously he doesn't know where I live. He doesn't know my apartment number or anything like that. But that was a very interesting situation. And I mean, guys, if you can't handle get if you can't handle getting rejected, then just don't hit on girls because like it's a part of life. Like being rejected in life is just a part of life. And so if you I mean why, like if you can't handle that then you have deeper problems than than that and like the last thing you need to be do doing is hitting on anyone especially as a guy like there's no reason to get mad at when this happens and it's not like the first time I've seen a guy get mad because he got rejected or that because I rejected him but it was an interesting experience to me and I don't think it was because of the ADHD I mean I have friends that have ADHD I have classmates that have ADHD this guy was just there's something there's some deeper problems there and he just needs help he just needed help but it was crazy you guys comment below if you've ever experienced anything like that let me know but to the guys out there like please if you can't handle getting rejected just don't hit on girls period because you can't go around just insulting people for no reason like you obviously have deeper problems deeper emotional issues but anyways i wanted to share that with you guys because that just happened a couple of weeks ago and uh, comment below let me know what you think has this ever happened to you what's the deal right like let me know what the deal is and I will talk to you guys soon. Become part of the May Day family. I'm really looking forward to talking to you guys. Once you subscribe, leave a comment for me below so I can, you know, comment you back and write you back and we can have an awesome conversation. And I love you guys as usual. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.